Merry Christmas, everyday Americans. Paul Engel here with the Constitution Study. I'm wondering why you're taking time out away from your family to listen to what I have to say. I'm kind of glad you did, though. I want to wish you a very, very Merry Christmas. Now, if you don't celebrate Christmas, don't feel bad. Don't get offended. Just accept the, the joy that I wish for you in your life. Feel free to wish me a happy Hanukkah, happy Kwanzaa, Merry Solstice, or whatever it is you wish. See, that's the joy of living in a country that's still pretty much free. I get to wish my blessings onto you in the way I want, and you can wish your blessings back onto me in the way you want. As we approach the end of 2019 and we look forward to 2020, I think this is a great time to take some time, uh, exercise our right to express our, to exercise our religion as we see fit, to speak as we see fit, preferably words of joy and comfort, but uh, hey, freedom of speech is freedom of speech. Maybe we can take some time to assemble with friends and family and eat way too much food. Most of all, I think it's a good time to sit back and think, are we protecting just what we like or are we willing to protect the rights of those we disagree with? So think of that person that you disagree with politically, constitutionally, whatever. Wish them a Merry Christmas, a Happy Hanukkah, whatever you want to do. Wish them good. Protect their rights so that they'll be there one day to protect your rights. And as we get ready to enter 2020, which should be a very, very interesting year, again, enjoy your holiday and Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, whatever you want to celebrate. I celebrate Christmas. Take a few minutes and th be thankful for the blessings you do have and maybe make up your mind of what you're going to do to help secure those blessings for yourself and for your posterity. Merry Christmas from the Constitution Study. Have a blessed day and we'll see you in 2020. You have to know wherever you make your stay.